Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 11 and 12 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I wonder how Benny's doing taking care of this whole situation. But, you know, I mean, I feel like the... <laughs> I forgot that her master was here. But something still tells me that, you know, anytime when, you know, her and Mokoto are not training, she's probably in her room still upset about the whole thing, especially about her brother. I mean, the fact that she just, you know, she just out here like it's nobody's business. Like, okay, time to get this shit done. Like, oh my god. <laughs> She's right. So, Benny, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it, it's patience, basically. And that's what he lacks. He lacks patience. Oh, my God. I mean, because, you know, like a little bit of touch, you know, it's kind of like that in the first few episodes of Demon Slayer, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> You know, when she opens her eyes like that, they're pretty, but then at the same time, she creeps me out a little bit because, you know, seeing characters who don't open their eyes, and when they officially open their eyes, you're like, okay, you might be a little suspicious, because, I mean, you know, <laughs> I remember we would all make a joke about Brock from, from Pokemon, because, like, you know, it's like, okay, Misty and Ash, they can see. Brock, how the hell you see? <laughs> I mean, but honestly, I still love Brock. He's still one of my favorite companions, besides Misty and May. And when did I stop watching Pokemon? Like, yeah, Gen Four. That's only because they changed everybody's be uh, voice actresses and actors, and I was like, yeah, they said no for me. I was like, yeah, middle school, yeah, like sixth grade, just started, and I was like, mm, one day. It, and it happened, like, in such a weird way. I remember, like, it was on Kids WB, and we had the regular Veronica Taylor voice. And then, um, I remember hearing that, like, Cartoon Network was getting the rights to it and moving it over there. And I think also Viz was changing everything at the time, because, you know, the situation of four kids. So I didn't really find, like, casting like I normally do now with some animes that I watch, especially for Japanese and stuff. But then, yeah, watched it one day, and I was like, what? the heck is this like this is a no 
<laughs> and I've never really watched the dub ever since then. If I do watch Pokemon, I watch it, you know, not sub, dub. Um, I watch the sub rather than the dub. <laughs> oh, many. Honestly, when you two look at each other, you should be able to know exactly how you're feeling, exactly how you want everything to communicate and such, and how you want to fight together as a team. You need to be in sync as one. You know, like twin empathy, especially when it's like two twins or it's like brother and sister. Duh. <laughs> Exactly, so... <laughs> You'll see, so just start and do it! Just get done, oh my god! She'll have her ways. See, Rokuro, you think it's going to be easy, but watch. She's going to make her really challenging. Oh, just watch. <laughs> Benny was wrong. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm? 
She's right. Exactly. You just run off on your own. There's your glue. That coffee cup is a clue. Oh, that's so good. I haven't even eaten yet myself. The question is, where would you go after you're stuffed and full? Well, typically you would go home, but the gym. A women's gym? Yeah, a women's gym. Now we're back to square one. No, Benny, you did good. You followed your in intuition and it led you not to the right place, but maybe just a clue. Yeah. So don't ever doubt yourself.
Ahem. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> What is it though? Uh, it is, huh? Mm, shut up, stomach. I've got like less than an hour left before I can eat. Then it might help. Wouldn't it just be better for them to focus on each other's moves and where they are and predicting, uh, predicting, wrong word. You're telling me this is where you were the whole time?
she would disappear just like that. Something also tells me someone else in the next episode is also going to impose on them. Uh, yeah. She was right. That's why you have to at least be honest with your significant other. Just saying. Are they going to show up in episode 12, maybe? I don't know. Um, okay. But I I'm glad that, you know, Benny's master is <laughs> about came for the last few episodes. Honestly, I will miss her until whenever the next time she, you know, comes to impose <laughs> on our newlyweds and such. But yeah, I mean, I love the fact that each week we get to see these two work together, even though, yes, over the situation of Benny's <clears throat> brother and their dynamic and their partnership and their teamwork was sort of off and so Subaru was the only one to essentially kind of bring it back to a point where yes these two can trust each other again and you know be as one even though yes they still have a long way to go and as she said yes a healthy relationship you shouldn't really hide anything from each other and, I mean, they proved it once in, like, the first, like, we about to be in the first half, because, no, yeah, because we're about to watch episode 12 in the first half. And then there was a point, because of the fact is, you know, the situation of her brother and Rokuro, their trust was gone, and the bond wasn't there anymore. And now it, it's there, just, you know, slowly but surely. But, yeah, <laughs> very hilarious that, you know, mm, of course, a kid his age or a boy his age is going to have born <laughs> Usually, sometimes us as women, we're going to be a little offended. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a little worse, especially, you know, if you, <laughs> if your parents find it. <laughs> because, I mean, <laughs> I, I can't imagine, like, when I'm older and I have a child and and I find their porno magazine. Oh, the day that happens, I, I, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Because I remember, what was I watching? Um, this, <laughs> my friends and my mom sent me this clip of a talk show saying that a mom had found, you know, her son's porno magazine. And she, <laughs> she was thinking about putting a picture like a cutout picture of her face. I'm one of the women. <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus, no, please. Oh, <laughs> oh God, 
that that would be funny. But don't do that. I mean, just you have a really good conversation either with, you know, your significant other, your parent about sex. I mean, it's just, it's normal. I mean, you know, it's the one thing that, like, I think a lot of us are a little, like, shy to talk about of course i can't talk to this about like with someone who was like 17 or 18 because that's a big no-no and ish but someone who is maybe a couple of years younger than me plus my mother or someone who's around the same age as me and stuff it's it's normal because it's okay it's one of the normal things that someone as an adult my age can talk to someone who is also an adult either older than me same age or younger than me can also understand because i mean especially you know when you were in like middle school elementary school and you were feeling feelings and shit like that but yeah i mean it's okay they just have a healthy cute little relationship they just need a little more time to bond though but yeah i'm proud of them for today's episode but just want to know who the heck was that at the end of this episode i mean because mm, he looks a little suspicious to me as well but of course we're gonna have to wait until the following episode but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 12 okay episode 12 and three two, one, go. Mm. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Let me go ahead and check one more time. Since this is currently just a recap part. I can't even open it. Now, would he be the next person who's going to, you know, chill with them, train them, and paint, and <laughs> just stay with them for a couple of days? Yeah, be like, mm-mm. Let me be a little decent real quick. But then at the same time, he seems bad. So, you know, of course, that would be a no. But, I mean, who knows? He could be flip-flopping or some shit like that. Who knows? Let me check one more thing one more time before... Mm-mm-mm-mm. 
Oh my god, come on, damn it. Excuse me. No. Because you chose on a way different level than you. Because even if you just went against him, even with your strong control, I don't think you would have been able to handle it. You could possibly die, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> Benny, what the fuck are you making? Okay, what are you making for dinner? Okay, hold on. Benny? Yeah, um... She's putting in salt. I don't know about that. Oh, oh God, it turned colors. Oh, Benny. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know about that, Benny. No, you're going to drink it. Does it have to be drunk? Drink hot? We can't drink it cold? Do you have any taste buds? Yeah, but... Oh, okay, then make something then, Rogoro.
<laughs> okay, but Benio, I mean, your special is like no bueno. <laughs> And that gives you time to cook, Rokuro. <laughs> of course. Yeah, they still need way more training. Something tells me he's gonna go see Rokuro and Banyo. Or he could be going on some super secret mission by himself that he doesn't want everyone to know. I mean, he is suspicious. Very fucking suspicious. I feel like I, can't, I still can't trust him. Well, oh, you're burning it. Hmm? Oh, that sounds good. Okay, question. Were Benio's um, parents the previous twin star exorcists? I mean, because it has to happen like every few, like, what, years, generations? Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
You know you could talk to about talk about it with Rokuro, and you don't have to keep it inside. How that's kind of my weakness. I keep everything inside too because I don't feel like talking about it. Because I'm like, uh, how the hell should I express myself? You know. But even though I know how to express myself very well, huh? Well, it looks good. I, I just. Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. After losing them, you always ate dinner by yourself. Yeah, but it's not the same. What if it's the same one from her past? I mean, mm. Yeah, but shouldn't you call Rokuro? Well, he's already out, though. Well, she's one of them. She couldn't choose. That's fucked up. Of course he's not.
course. You killed her parents. Oh, but you do it too. Also because of the fact that he was worried about you. He's the only one that we've seen right now who can switch between. Because with the other ones that we've seen for 11 weeks, really not even less than 11 weeks, um, six weeks possibly as of now, like none of them have been able to switch back from a com from that to a human. They're gonna end it right there. I think you, yeah, you are, you are, because we're almost done with this episode, aren't you? Yeah, of course you would. Okay, so for Benio to come, something from her past to come back and haunt her, for something like Kamui, that's fucked up. I, I never would have thought that it would have happened in this episode. Maybe like a couple episodes later, like at least by episode twenty-four, and such. I feel for her because being at that young age and having to choose between your mother or your father living and the other one dying, it, it's very heartbreaking. And since he killed both of them and he has no more remorse with anyone who he's killed and she's been living with like not only guilt, remorse, anger, hatred towards this one person who killed her parents for so many years I think it's not only her training for that but also yeah training for a twin star extras but you would think that she would have been a little more powerful and been able to stand up against him but no she's not on the same level as Rokuro in my opinion she's a little more higher up because she does know um how to hold her own when it comes to fighting unlike Rokuro because Rokuro is a little impatient in my book um hell it was like that last week and it continues into this week especially with the fact is yes um with Yuto he almost got his ass kicked well no he didn't get his ass kicked he did he almost died but I don't know I really don't know, but th this is going to be another step in them working together in order to defeat um, this enemy and such. But I think also at the end of this, going into 13, 14 next week, 
Um, of course, we're all gonna always going to be the one to handle the meals. I, I don't think I could ever handle Benio's <laughs> special drink. <laughs> uh, that, <laughs> that Yukiko vibe she has where she's very badass, but she's like not the greatest when it comes to, you know, doing stuff in the kitchen. But I mean, it takes time to get really good at cooking. I mean... I've been cooking since I was like 13 and when I was 13 yeah I was not the best at cooking especially with helping my mom and such like that so it took me the longest time and so now I'm really even with the fact that is that I've gone from eating meat to eating plant-based stuff and um figuring out what I can use to substitute certain things yeah I think I'm a better cook than I was at 13 years old but <laughs> It's patience. <laughs> That's what it really is. You need to have patience. If you don't, you fuck up. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to you It's episodes 11 and 12 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for Rails for episodes 13 and 14. Bye, guys.